definition points. Here, I just started the drawing and I drew one rectangle. If I go up into my layer manager, I go to my layer properties here, you'll see I have just one layer named zero. Now, I'm going to go up to annotate and I'm going to dimension this particular uh, object. I will uh, shift right click and go to endpoint and I'll pick another endpoint and I'll place my dimension there. Now, let's go back and take a look at our layers. You'll notice that a layer has been created called def points. This is short for definition points. Whenever we place a single dimension in a drawing, that layer def points will be created. This layer does not plot. Uh, it, it's <coughs> always turned off. And what's put on this layer is the points in which AutoCAD is measuring the dimension from. In this case, I snapped to the endpoint of this line, snapped to the endpoint of that line. There's actually two points, the point command is sitting here in those two locations that is uh, AutoCAD is reading the dimension from. You should never really rename these or alter these or put any other object on these. Just leave this layer alone is the best way to handle it. Um, also, you may be tempted to explode at this dimension to make edits. Do not explode dimensions. Rarely, I mean once in a thousand times or less, you might need to explode it. But generally, we can edit the dimension and not explode it. When we explode a dimension, we lose the associative part of the dimension, and therefore we cannot edit or update it. So, the, the definition points are the points AutoCAD reads to create its dimensions. It's placed on a, la a layer called def points and that layer I recommend that you do not use of any kind. Do not rename it. Do not put other items on it. Don't change the color. Just leave it alone and it will not plot. Alright, so that is definition points.